Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and we got huge news today. A release date for Lightburn for Galvo has finally been announced. Now, there's some details, and there's some good news, uh, and there's some other good news. Actually, I don't think there is any bad news. We're going to talk about all of it right now, so don't go anywhere, because we're going to cover literally everything. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna make you sit through that. <laughs> the release date for Lightburn for Galvo is officially June 30th, uh, and there's a big asterisk next to that. So on June 30th, what's going to happen is anybody who already owns a Lightburn license or activates a new trial is going to have access to the Galvo functionality. Uh, by owning a license, I mean a recent license that's been recently renewed. So uh, if you just bought your Lightburn license in the last year or you've recently renewed it, then you're going to have that functionality added by downloading the 1.2 version of Lightburn from the website. Uh, if you don't have a currently active copy of Lightburn, then you'll need to renew your license. It's 30 bucks uh, and you'll be able to use it right away. That is going to run until July 15th. So this is essentially a 15 day open beta for anybody with a Lightburn license. So if you already own a Lightburn license, you're good to go. You just download the most recent update from the page on June 30th, and you're gonna have access to the Lightburn for Galvo features. Now on July 15th, that kind of beta for everybody that owns a Lightburn license is going to end, and you're gonna have to make a purchase. Uh, if you've activated a new trial, you're gonna need to buy Lightburn for Galvo. So if you don't already own it, you're gonna have to pay for the whole thing up front. It's gonna be $150, which trust me, is a steal. That's an absolutely amazing price for this super powerful piece of software. If you already own a Lightburn license on July 15th and you're just upgrading to add that Galvo functionality, the price is going to be $90. Uh, there's no separate version of Lightburn for Galvo. It's just Lightburn. It's built into Lightburn. So uh, again, if you already own the G-Code version or the DSP version, it's a $90 upgrade. Uh, if you don't own Lightburn at all and you only have a Galvo laser, then you're looking at a $150 price tag. And these guys have put so much work into making this work and they've done it in record time. So this price is totally fair. Uh, if anything, they're undercharging. So grab it now before we see another price increase. We just saw one not too long ago, which was totally justified. They've added so many new features, but now's the time to buy because they've never stopped working on this software. So uh, you really wanna grab this as soon as possible. Right now, all EasyCAD 2 and EasyCAD Lightboards are going to be supported. Uh, we don't have support for EasyCAD 3 yet. So if you have EasyCAD 3, uh, this is not going to work for you yet, uh, but that's something they're going to be looking into after release. So hopefully we'll get some news on that soon, but EasyCAD 2, EasyCAD Lightboards, you should be good to go. If you're one of the few people that has the knockoff Cyclone board, they haven't officially announced support for it, but it should work. Uh, the, the system should see it as an EasyCAD board and it should just work. If you have a Cyclone, leave a comment down below and let me know if it's working for you uh, once June 30th rolls around because I'd be really interested to hear about that. Officially supported laser sources, Rakus, JPT, and IPG, though I have used it with my Max source that I have in the EM Smart, and it's worked fine. Uh, it's also supporting CO2 Galvo machines, so if you have a CO2 Galvo machine, you're covered on that. No support for UV yet, but I think that they're going to be working on that soon, so I'll keep the UV crowd updated. We're not quite there yet with the UV. And of course, guys, you're going to see support on Mac, PC, and Linux. So you're covered no matter what operating system you're using. That means all you EasyCAD guys that have dreaded using Windows, guess what? You can finally use your Galvo laser with Mac OS. So I know that's going to be really exciting for you. So let's just recap, guys. June 30th, everybody who already owns a Lightburn license that's been recently renewed uh, is going to get access to Galvo features. And that's gonna be free until July 15th, where you'll have to purchase either a full-on Lightburn for Galvo, just standalone purchase. It's gonna be $150 or an upgrade license from an existing version of Lightburn 
for $90. That means effectively you guys are looking at 23 days from the date of recording this video until release. I really hope this makes you guys feel better. I hope that this takes a weight off your shoulders to know that it's coming. Uh, and we've got a release date finally. Of course, in the blog post that they added to their website, they mentioned that these dates are subject to change, but they're feeling very, very confident on these release windows so we should have this in our hands by the end of the month we should all be using it so definitely get excited guys it's finally coming and i can't wait to start using the software together we're gonna really blow it up on the channel we've got a lot of work to do and a lot of new things to learn so i can't wait to get into that with you i think that's all i've got for this episode guys don't forget to smash the like button let everybody else know the content is good and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time i have news about Lightburn for Galvo. If you love the channel and you want to support what we're doing here, go check out the Laser Master Academy. You can find it over at masters.lasereverything.net and it allows us to continue uploading all of this content for free every week for you guys. So definitely go check that out. Huge shout out to everybody that's already supporting us and I think that's all I've got. So I will see you in the next one.